hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the Wise Miller Homestead. If you can't tell, I am out in the chicken coop, sweating from orifices I didn't know I had, um, which means it's hot. It is really hot. Um, it's supposed to be about 110 today. I feel it. I think it is, um, which means my girls are hot, and I don't want that because I don't want any of my girls dying because then chicken math comes into play, and when they die, I got to get more, and you can only get a minimum of four at tractor supply, so my husband would just kill me because I already have 34, and if one died, then I'd have to get four more, which means I'd have more than 34. So I'm doing everything I can out here to keep them cool. I've got a frozen jug over here that I'm going to put out right here in the water for them. I've got a little mister system set up right here so that all this right here is nice and wet for them. I just filled up all their water. I... Um, I hose down the run, so they're over here doing nice, cute little dust baths, trying to stay cool. We've got some drinking water over here. Their pool is nice and filled up. Um, I've topped off their big, giant waterer, so, you know, just out here doing what I can. Hi there. You don't want to look down there. Um, to get my girls to stay cool and try to beat this heat, there are some storm clouds over that way. I'm hoping they're heading this way. Lord knows we could use the rain. And these poor girls are just not doing too hot. So, well, they are hot. <laughs> so, sprayed it all down and everything. Getting them some water. Egg production has definitely slowed. Um, ooh, excuse me. Do you have anything under there for, you, for me? Yes, you do, ma'am. Thank you. All right, so out here getting eggs before they start to hard boil. Um, one of the beauties of my chicken coop at least and, and what should be everybody's is there's this thing called shaded shade. Uh, you should really try to build your chicken coop under some kind of structure, under a tree, um, and then have spots for shade so the ground doesn't get too hot, especially when you live in Arizona. Um, so we've got our coop in what's called shaded shade. So they've got a nice line of defense against the sun out here. Um, you know, we do what we can. So, um, it also really kind of depends on like your breeds. So I do have a couple, oops, I do have a couple of breed of, breeds of chickens that, um, I don't think are really necessarily made for the heat. Um, like my black copper morans, I'm not really sure what, what climate best suits them. Um, whoo, that mister feels real nice. Uh, but we're, I'm just trying, I'm trying to keep them nice and cool and these poor girls could use it. Ooh, we got a big nest box over here and one on the ground I'm going to reach in there for, so. Ooh. Somebody laid one right on the ground. Gross. All right. Like I said, I have seen a really big decline in egg production just because it's been so damn hot. And I don't blame them. Like I, I think I said before, I wouldn't want to lay eggs out in 110 degree heat. I don't even want to be out in 110 degree heat. But here I am making sure they're doing good, filling up their waters, giving them a nice little mister system here to cool off in, hoping that's enough. Um, I've been uh, come on, saving all of our milk jugs to lay them out here. So this one right here is frozen. Oh, feels so good. I can only imagine how good it feels for them too. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this right here for them. They can kind of huddle around it. Um, and those frozen milk jugs is going to give them something nice to just kind of sit up next to and, and cool them off a little bit. I am dripping sweat. It is hot. I, it's also, I mean, I'm moving around, so I'm sure that doesn't help, but got a big old bag of mealworms right here. I'm going to give them some, some worms, increase their protein because I know they're exerting a whole lot of energy in just trying to stay cool. Um, 
So give them a nice little treat here. Oh, they're doing that. Here go, ladies. Put some over here for the girls that just don't want to get out of the shade. I don't blame them. All right, so we've got them all over there munching on some mealworms, getting some protein, getting their energy built back up. Mr. System going over here. Ice jug going over here. Fresh water. Cleaned out all the algae. Um, that is a big problem that I've got here in Arizona with the water jugs too is, you know, I do those five gallon self waterers uh, or self feeding water, I guess, automatic water, who knows. Um, and they, with water sitting in there and the sun on them, they grow algae. So every once in a while, I got to come out here and scrub them down real good. Um, so I did that. So yeah. Why do we live here? We don't know. It's just a thing. Anywho, that's what we're doing. I got, uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 eggs so far today. It's about one in the afternoon. So I expect I'll probably get another six eggs by the end of the day. So um, still not as many as I'm used to getting, but like I said, I do not blame them. And we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. And so far it's worked and we're toward the end of July and we got another month and a half of this and hopefully monsoons start really ramping up and kicking their butts into gear because Right now we've only had one monsoon and it wasn't even a real good one. The wash didn't flood um, like I was hoping it would. So yeah, oh, look at that nice drip of sweat just dripping right down there. Cute, real cute. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna go inside and get a popsicle and sit in some 72 degree AC. Catch you later.